let's get into this. Let's look at the Bitcoin chart here. Since this is my first video, let's get this all set up. This is my brand new trading view account. All right, we're on the five minute. That's not really that great. Let's go to the daily. And I'm gonna come out with a trading view guide. If anything, you guys should just go get trading view if you're not using it yet. This is the way I use charts. Let's set some trend lines here. There is a trend line right here. There is a trend line right here. And the way I'm setting these trend lines is I'll, I'll put a line, the line tool right here. And then you start at the bottom and you put it at the top and you make sure you're basically just setting a line of where the price was and where it's heading. This helps us figure out if we're going up or if we're going down. All right, we all know that that's happening right now. This is nothing new. We are going pretty much parabolic, seems like. There's that line. And then it just keeps on getting crazier and crazier as you stretch it out. Let's put another line up here, which we kind of broke today, I think. I don't know, I would put this one like right here. I'd, uh, let's go to a, so for this we can go to a smaller pattern or smaller time frame. So let's go to the four hourly. Let's just start with that. And we'll work our way up. Okay. So there's a four hourly. See, that fits perfect too. I mean, that's like, I would probably put that there. I mean, you could probably put that there, but I would say put it at these thicker lines. Let me put it at the, let's see what the one hourly says. We could even go into the five minute and see what it really says. Like, see what these really lines really are. Let's go back, let's go out it. Um, is it even possible f for me to, let's see what the one hour, skipping around a little bit, but it's cool. Okay. So there's the bottom, bottom, bottom. I mean, you could put this line right there. Let's say put this line. <clears throat> Put this line somewhere right there. I'm not exactly sure where it would go exactly. Let's see, we could go to the five minute and kind of. Fifteen minute. I mean, honestly, we can do this too. Like, if we're breaking that line, then we know. <laughs> we know we're not, we're in trouble. Because that's like the secondary. Let's get this like, this tighter pattern though. Or let's get this like one that where it's actually touching a bunch of times though. Something like. Something like this, I was thinking. What's this line? Oh, that's a red candlestick, okay. Do something like that, do something like that. So it's touching right, getting close to touching right here. I guess I should move it a little bit.
It was writing this line up. Touch this right here. Went up. Got close to it right here. Went up. Broke it. Shot back up. Touch this one. Right here. Broke through it. Shot right back up. Got a big pump to the upside. And then we, we're getting this resistance right here. Okay, there's that. And then there's that right there. All right. Now. Hmm. What's next? Let's go to the five minutes. Let's just see what's going on at this moment. All right. So it looks like we're in a. We were in a downtrend. And then, let's see. No, we're still on a downtrend. I was going to say, though, it looked like we kind of faked out a little bit. <laughs> That's so weird starting from scratch. My other chart has all my other stuff on it. Back to the hourly. Okay, so what we could also see now is that there's support right here, support right there came down got support boom got support boom put the lines there it's running that way but I would say you could even put it right here because these actually did go down that way um so I would say this is something more like this pattern right here so here we are right now we are in a definite multiple uptrends. Let's go to the daily. Uptrend, 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 <laughs> uptrend. Let's go to the, but that can start turning around. I think, I'm not sure what's gonna happen, but yeah. Um, I think we could come down and do something like this. Whoops. We could do something like this. Kind of touch base here. Okay, so what are we looking for? This right now is the trend it has to be on the hourly. If it can break up here, which it looks like it might, this is what we're looking at right now. The price is, see, and that's the other thing too. I need to make it. That we don't need. That's better. Okay, that's much better. Let's even, we could probably even go another like. Okay. Price is 38,469. It looks like we're in an uptrend. Let's go to the five minutes. Um, we caught a little dip today. It was a good from today. Let's see, where's today, where did it start? Uh, 
I mean, the dip started right here, let's just say. And if you were able to sell right here and buy back in here, probably even more likely in here or right here, that's 16% for the day on a, on a short position, which is pretty cool. Then if you were able to buy the dip, all, all these people, let's just say right now, that's 9% today. So even though people have lost from here, 8%, there was two chances today for like 20%. Well, it's not 20%, but I don't know. Um, what else? Let's take a look at the indicators. Let's go to volume. Start that. Let's go to RSI. Start that. Let's go to, um, what else do I have? So Castic RSI. So Castic RSI, what about the EMA ribbon? I think that comes in here though, so that's like one of these ones. Templates. Moving exponential ribbon. Okay, there's that one, and then what's this one? Okay, so then you could do moving average. And then you do one two nine and then one do one eighty I believe let me see yes one eighty K style and that's the Orange one. Okay. Looks about right. Okay. Now, what else? Okay, let's bust out some of those things I just busted out. Volume. I don't need the stochastic RSI. All right, uh, I don't need that one. You know what though? Let's close this volume. Close this one. Now from here, what I want to do is make a template. Save indicator template and let's do MAs. There might even be a way that you don't even have to do it like this, but Right, is that and then start it so I can go boom, boom, okay, cool, perfect. Okay, so now 
Let's get the volumes up there. You can see the volume now. And I think I could put multiple of these. Sometimes I don't know. Can't see them, so you just put a couple of them there, and it makes it visible. Okay, with the free trading view, you could only use so many indicators at once. What am I looking at now? Okay, so I want to do RSI. Just see what it looks like. All right. So, basically, what do we want it to see? We want to see strength. And it does kind of look like it. There's strength right here. There's strength right here. They weren't able to keep the, the bull, bears weren't able to keep the price down. But there's weakness right here again. So I don't know, it feels like we're undecided right here. Let's see what happens. And hopefully it goes up. But you never know. I am going to be dollar cost averaging. If it goes up or down. Let's see. Let's go to the hourly. Should I move this down like that? No, that doesn't look great. This still looks like a good pattern. Um, if we break this line again, right here, or if we break this line, right here, I will make another video. But for right now, I think that's about it. If we break this pattern going up, we can do this and put this somewhere at the breakout. Let's just say it. Let's just say put it all the way down. Do something like that. Let's say it broke at the very bottom. It'll probably do something like this. Honestly, it probably will break at that line right there where it's kind of like the last minute kind of thing. Either that or maybe right here. I don't know. I bet somewhere within this little pocket. If it breaks to the upside. It could also break to the downside. Same place. Um, and in which case. If we do. This. Come down. Let's get rid of the stochastic. Um, let's just shrink it for right now. I don't need it too much right now. Um, something like that. I think that's good though. Let's see what the five minutes doing before I close this out. One minute. Okay, so this ribbon. Is there anything else I want to talk about? Let's see what the ribbon is saying. See, that's actually good, that rib that ribbon crossing over like that. This is setting up for a pump. And if we can bounce on this one, we might go down to these levels again. We might come down to this. Boom, touch that again. Might come down to here. At least touch down here. And then start bouncing back up. I have a feeling that's what's going to happen. It's going to come down here. Fake out. <laughs> come back up here again and start like doing this faking out everyone just fakes everyone out and then um, liquidates everyone's <laughs> positions but I think that might be it um, 
Alright, uh, yeah, I'll hit you guys, I'll, I'll post in a video when, um, when more stuff happens.